guys. My name's Amy Mann. I'm from Region 3, Australia, and I'm here today to talk about a system that I'm very, very passionate about. My system is to do with scheduling posts on social media and ensuring that I'm covering all the products that are available available to us through Sensi. So not just the ones that I love and the ones that I'm passionate about, but also about the ones that I may not be um, as passionate about or may not even like. For example, I used to always forget to advertise scents such as blueberry cheesecake, um, Luna, funnily enough, I'm not a huge fan of Luna either. So this system that I've now got in place has changed my social media uh, point of view of my business. This allows me to be more consistent without constantly repeating myself and feeling like I'm only posting about a set couple of products. So what I have is I schedule four posts per day, a 7.30 a.m., a 10.30 a.m., a 2.30 p.m., and a 7 p.m. You don't need to be that structured if you don't need, if you don't want to be. I'm a very structured person, and I like to know that things are going out when they're meant to go out um, and that I'm not missing anything. So that's just how I am. Every month I print out a calendar sheet just off my calendar off my computer and I write in my four time slots down the side just so that I can note down what I'm posting about to make sure that I'm not doubling up on anything and making sure that everything's spread out across the days of the month. I also have a product sheet from the current catalogue. This allows me to be reminded in one space of what's currently in the catalogue, including all the wax bar scents, um, the body products, the whiff box, everything. So every day I promote one scent, whether it be a wax bar or a pod, however I want to do it, one warmer, one other product, and then my fourth thing is usually um, not necessarily specific to one product. It could be a quote for the day. It could be um, a tip to do with a Sensi hack or something like that. It could be an interactive post or just something a bit different to break up the constant um, posting of products so it doesn't look too salesy. So I go through and I typically schedule one to two months in advance. That's how organised I like to be. I like to make sure that um, I have other time to focus on other aspects of my business and I know that my social media platforms are just going to automatically roll out for me and at the end of the day it's only taken me maybe a couple of hours max to schedule it all but yet I've got a full month's worth of posts going out for me pretty much doing the work for me. So for example I'm going to look at um, one of my days here. I've got a buddy clip going up at 7.30 um, then I've, I've, on this particular day, I'm advertising my scent of the month at 10.30. Then I've got a mixology post. So that's my um, different post for the day because I like to do a mix at Monday. Um, and then I've got the Honey Pot Warmer um, from the Winnie, Winnie the Pooh collection. So that's my fragrance was scent of the month. My warmer was the Honey Pot. My other product was a Buddy Clip. And then I had the mix at Monday um, post to break things up. So another thing that I also like to do as far as systems go is every Monday I do a Mix It Monday post. Every Tuesday I do a Tip Tuesday post. These tips vary from strength to strength. They could be um, from using the empty wax by clamshells as little seedling pots um, during the spring when you're starting to plant your flower seeds and your veggies and herbs and stuff. Um, it could be using broken warmers when someone's dropped it and cracked it or anything as a plant pot or a um, pencil holder at the desk. Um, what else have I done? Um, keeping your cotton cleanups as fire starters, uh, doing a home pedicure, uh, yeah, pedicure session using um, Scentsy Soak, sugar scrub and a body cream as a moisturizer so that way you can do your own pedicures at home. I like to do a little tip Tuesday to mix it up. I always do a Wax Wednesday, so what are you warming today? So that we can get into a conversation about what everyone's warming in their warmers, if I'm warming something a bit different to what I usually would. 
A Scentsy Club Sunday is always a big one for me as well, where I screenshot one of my customers' club orders. I don't say whose it is or anything, so it doesn't matter whose it is, but I explain why they have those items on their club. So it might be that they're getting a whiff box at half price because they can. It could be that um, all the wax bars that are in their club are retired bars. Um, so this means that they get their bars continuously without them being available in the catalogue. Um, wash your whiffs. This is to ensure that this person never runs out of wash your whiffs. They know they've got their monthly supply coming every month. Um, so Scentsy Club Sunday has always been very, very popular within um, me and my customers. I always like to post quotes as well, just something that gets me a bit motivated, something that might just put a smile on someone else's face when they read it. Um, and interactive posts are always, always a bit of fun, um, whether it's guessing how many scent circles make up an image or um, name. There might be 12 different categories that you need to name using the letter of your first name and just little things. It doesn't have to be prize winning or competitions or anything like that. Just something fun and interactive that might get people to giggle. Um, one we had recently in our team page was name a movie title replacing one word with sausage. Um, so we had things like the Sausage King instead of the Lion King. Um, we had um, instead of the green mile, we had the green sausage. And that just got everyone laughing. It got the interaction going. People just kept coming up with funnier and more messed up, crazy movie titles. It was really, really good. So I wanted to come on today to discuss the scheduling. By having your product sheet, as you can see, I cross mine off as I post about them. It just shows me how many extra warmers are actually available in the catalogue that I haven't yet posted about in the, within the last sort of couple of months. So rather than me going ahead and posting about, you know, our beautiful litter board warmer again, I can go and post about our indigo tile instead. So making sure that the full variety of products are actually getting out there. Same with the scents. I cross all my scents off as I schedule the posts about them. Again, ensuring that I cover all the scents, including the ones that I may not like that much or including the ones that I don't sell a lot of. It's just covering all those bases and making sure that you are reaching out to um, everyone. You're targeting everyone. You're not just targeting the same people that like the same scents as you do. Um, I hope that helps. So all you need to do it is get yourself a printed out calendar so that you can write down your times and have a bit of a... Um, a mud map for yourself, a product sheet. Some people laminate them so they can wipe them off and start again. I just use a non-laminated one because I figured by the time I get through all the products, I can just get another one and start again. Um, and have a bit of an idea of some fun bits and pieces that you want, like your Mix It Mondays, your Tip Tuesdays, um, Wax Wednesdays, Thrifty Thursdays if you want to advertise things from the clearance section. Um, quotes, interactive posts, and I love my Scentsy Club Sunday. I hope that's been of some help for you guys. Um, please let me know if you've got any questions or anything at all. And um, I hope you're enjoying this business road trip. Thanks, guys. See ya.